Hitter started Game 3 for the Devils. Game 4 of the best of seven series will be tomorrow night at the Prudential Center. Over to baseball now. New York Yankees blasted Miami 12-1 at Yankee Stadium. All right, uh, Didi Gregorius belted two homers, number four and five of the year, and the Yanks pounded out 15 hits. Aaron Judge added a homer, his fourth of the season. His career so far, Judge has 60 homers in 197 games, five fewer games than it took Mark McGuire to make it to 60. For the first time in 33 years, an American has won the Baston Marathon. Yeah, Desiree Linden took the women's race on a wet and windy day for runners. Fox 5's Erica Wachter has the highlights. Fans and athletes at the 122nd running of the Boston Marathon exemplifying Boston strong yet again. This is about as tough as it gets. Runners dealt with the coldest temps in 30 years, made worse by freezing rain and monster headwinds throughout the 26.2 mile course. Trainers at New York Road Runners offer this advice to their racers in these conditions. When you got those sort of conditions where it's a bit windy, we tell our runners to focus on the effort versus the pace, so don't worry too much about the overall time and just focus on efforts. That was the case at Boston as the weather conditions did play a factor. It was the slowest women's finish in 40 years, but the winner certainly did not mind. Des Linden in full celebration mode on Boylston Street. 34-year-old Des Linden becoming the first American woman in 33 years to win the Boston Marathon. This just months after Shailene Flanagan won the New York City Marathon, breaking a 40-year drought for U.S. women there. There. Two inspiring feats that are motivating new generations. I think it's going to be a great boom for the sport, just having more females out there from the U.S. running well and you know finishing on the podium and winning these races. At Boston, American women went one and two and took seven of the top eight spots. Their